Hello and welcome to tonight's homework help for Thursday night, November 29th, 2012. Uh, we're going to jump right in with uh, rate and time homework. Rate is the speed at which something moves, happens, or changes. Time is how long something happens. So in the previous uh, few days, we've dealt with distance equals rate times time. A lot of you remember the DIRT formula. Okay, well, rate and time can uh, give us... Uh, information about other things too, such as how many hot dogs somebody eats per hour or how many pages a printer prints. So um, we have some other problems like that here. So we won't be dealing specifically with distance or speed. We'll be dealing with other situations um, where we still have a rate and then we want to calculate uh, how much we get out of that rate. So here we have DJ and Yefri both work for Costco. DJ averages checking out 20 customers per hour. Yefri averages 24 customers per hour. How many total customers can they expect to check out between 5 p.m. and 6.30? So first thing I do is I recognize that the amount of time between 5 p.m. and 6.30 is uh, one hour and a half, okay? Or 1.5 hours, okay? Um, and that's important to recognize uh, how, how much time that is. Um, that'll help us solve this problem. Uh, it says DJ averages 20 customers per hour, so I'm going to make one column for DJ. And it's great to just take the information out of uh, words and write it out visually. It makes it uh, word problems so much easier. Uh, and then we'll have Yefri. Okay, and then uh, DJ averages his rate... And the reason I know it's rate is because of the word per, so customers per hour. Okay, so he his rate is 20, uh, oops, 20 customers per hour, okay? Yefri's rate is 24 customers per hour, 24 customers per hour, and then the time is the same for both of them, 1.5 hours. Time is 1.5 hours. Okay, and it's really important to make sure that you have the same units. We had a problem earlier today in class where um, one part of the problem, they gave us the rate in minutes, but then the amount of time they asked for was one hour. So you have to watch out for that, um, the, where you might have to convert minutes to hours or hours to minutes, but not in this problem, because this problem, you, as you can see, is customers per hour, and we calculated 1.5 hours. Customers per hour here, and we have 1.5 hours there. So um, then what we need to do is, uh, I'm going to do the calculation for DJ here, uh, which I'm using that formula rate times time equals our output, which is going to be how many customers he checked out in that time. So I'll just put a C. And um, his uh, rate is 20 times uh, 1.5, which is equal to uh, 20 plus half of 20. So that's actually equal to 30. Uh, if you're not sure, you can always just multiply it on the side. 20 times 1.5. Uh, 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10. Put my placeholder 0 and start with the 1 in the tens place. 1 times 0 is 0, and 1 times 2 is 2. Uh, add those together, and I get 300. But then I have one decimal place here, so I have to move it in one decimal place, so it's 30. So I was right. It's 30 customers total for DJ. For Yefri, we have the rate times the time equals how many customers he t has. And for Jeffrey, he had 24 customers per hour over the course of the same amount of time, which is 1.5 hours. So that equals, uh, let's do it up here, 24 times 1.5. And we get 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. Put my 0 there. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 2 is 2. Add that together. We got a 0 and 0. 2 and 4 is 6. And 1 and 2 is 3. So he has 360, but we moved the decimal place in one. Sorry, I got kind of crammed there. So three, 36 customers. So it asks us, we want to answer. make sure we're answering the question they ask us, how many total customers can they expect to check out between 5 and 6.30? They being both of them. So we're going to have to add 30 customers 
Oops, that didn't look like a 30. We'll try. Make sure that looks like a 30. So we're, we're going to have to check out 30 customers for DJ plus 36 customers for Jeffrey equals 66 customers total. Okay? So that's how we do these problems. This is probably the hardest one on this homework. So hopefully this uh, this video helps. Um, anyways, we're going to go move on to now. We're going to move on to. The okay, and here we have the problem. Dave's pocket money. Okay, uh, Dave's grandmother gave him some spending money. She gave him one of each of the four coins. So you got a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter. One cent, five cent, ten cent, twenty-five cent. Dave put the four coins in his pocket. Later in the day, Dave put his hand in his pocket and pulled out three of the coins. What is the largest amount of money he could have pulled out? Show how you figured this out. So one clue would be, I would think, what are the three most valuable coins that he pulled out? And that should give you the largest amount of money. Um, let's see here. Then it says that uh, Dave put the uh, three coins back in his pocket. So number two asks, after a few minutes, Dave again put his hand in his pocket and pulled out three coins. What is the smallest amount of money he could have put out? Show how you figured this out. Well, just like we figured out what are the three most valuable coins here, I would take, check out what are the three least valuable coins here and then add them together, and that should be the smallest amount of money he pulled out. Okay, and then it says Dave put the three coins back in his pocket. And number three asks, half after a little while, Dave pulled out just two coins from his pocket. Show the different amounts of money he could have pulled out. So now you're going to have to show all the different combinations. Um, and I I would do it systematically. In other words, I'd say, okay, let's start with the, the, the least valuable coin and then pair that with the next least valuable coin and then pair the least valuable coin with the second least valuable coin. That'd be a new pair. And then, you know, just go back and forth until you've uh, tried every possible combination. So you got one, two, oops, you got one, two, three, four, five more combinations that are different than the one that they listed. So come up with other ones besides one twenty-five cent piece and one ten cent piece that equals thirty-five cents. Okay, this this sh shouldn't be terribly difficult. Okay, if you have any further questions, please feel free to call or text either Mr. Supper or myself. Good night. Good luck. Go Bears. Rawr! To the backside?